Welcome to Buchake English for Teens. I'm Hava Steinman. And I'm Robbie L. Let's get started by watching today's skit. A whole extra day? If only it was an extra day off. Hey, isn't it Priya's birthday today? Oh, snap! You're right! Happy fourth birthday, Priya! Ha <laughs> ha! Very funny! We're just joshing, fam. Oh yeah, it's a leap year this year, isn't it? Yeah, an extra day for learning English. How exciting! You said it. If only every year were a leap year. And if only is today's point. In the skit, you heard Jason say, if only it was an extra day off, when talking about the extra day in a leap year. This if only is used when you want to express your wish that something were true but unfortunately isn't. That's right. So in this case, Jason wishes that the extra day this year would be an extra day off. And since this is a hypothetical situation, we use past tense. Right. Hypotheticals are always in past tense, even if we're talking about a present situation. As a side note, Jason said, if only it was an extra day off, which is commonly used in speech. However, the grammatically correct form would be, if only it were an extra day off. Yeah. In speech, either form is fine. Let's take a look at some examples using if only. If you get your pop quiz back and there's a big red F at the top, you could sigh and say, if only I had studied harder. If only I had studied harder. Or if the girl you were going to ask to prom has already agreed to go with someone else, you could say, if only I had asked her sooner. If only I had asked her sooner. Or if it's getting close to midnight and you're still writing your essay that's due the next day, you could say, if only I had started earlier. If only I had started earlier. I've definitely been there before. So what's up next, Robbie? If only I knew. Well, you do know it's written right if on the... If only I knew. Here's Ego no Tatsujin. Our Ego no Tatsujin point today is about the word fan. It sure is, fam. In the skit, you heard Samir say, we're just joshing, fam, when talking to Priya, and you may have wondered what this fam really means. Yeah, this fam is a slang term to address your close friend. That's right. It comes from the word family and is used to express closeness to someone, as if they were your family member. Remember, this is a very casual term, so you shouldn't use it with teachers or people you're not close with. Some similar ways of referring to your friends include bro, short for brother, or dude. That's right, bro. Yeah, dude. <sighs> oh, sorry, fam. No worries, fam. Could you wrap up, fam? I got you, fam. Thanks, fam. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to try these phrases out and don't forget to have fun. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. See you next week.